We were here today for the animatic panel at Glasgow Film Festival. It was a really fantastic live pitch event where five creative professionals were pitching their animation projects. For the last three months, actually, we've a group of us, five of us, were selected and we all had animation projects in kind of quite early development stages and we basically learned how to pitch. Okay, so on the panel, what an exciting panel. Netflix, Ardman, who would not want to pitch to these guys? It's such a brilliant opportunity. Judging was, was really hard because all five were so different in terms of series, adult, preschool, feature. All of them were so good in their own right. Fiona, who runs My Smash Media, who was running the, the pitching workshop with us, asked us um, how much time we'd spent on our project. And I think I said something like, well, about three, four years. And then she asked, and how much time have you spent preparing your pitch? And I was kind of like, a couple of hours. And it made it really apparent that pitching is almost like a product in itself. You know, you do have to work at it and you do have to prepare it and you do have to practice it. And it has really opened my eyes to the importance of that. So it's been incredibly useful. Being at Ardman, an executive producer at Ardman, I've been at Ardman for 26 years. I did a workshop on budgets. My input was talking around the realistic aspect of trying to come up with a budget and a schedule for your idea, which is quite complex, it's quite it's hard. You know, you have to really make sure you've covered every area and also can talk to every area within that budget and the schedule, particularly when you're pitching it to streamers. Um, and investors because you need to be able to talk to every part of that budget and schedule that you know is going to deliver the creative that you want to do. I work at Netflix and adult animation comedy and we really look for a lot of things in pitches. I think a unique comedic point of view and sensibility is very important for us and just a strong creator vision as well. You know, our space is pretty oversaturated like most spaces in animation. I think what we really look for in a pitch is just that, that voice and that passion. And if it's comedy, make us laugh. <laughs> so the winner today has been given 5,000 pounds to develop their project further. That amount of money can make a significant difference at this very early stage in development to that project's chances of getting further down the development pipeline and into production. So I know the panellists found this a really, really tough decision. All the projects were absolutely fantastic. But today there can only be one winner, who is Selena Wagner with Terry. <laughs> just don't get many opportunities to pitch like this you know we pitch to folk on a one-to-one -one basis commissioners and stuff and well quite often you're sending a written pitch off over the internet or wherever so it's, it's really nice to do that kind of face to face and have that challenge basically because it's pretty hair raising. You immediately get access to a much bigger network of people than you do as an individual you're getting to pitch to like a room of 100 people as opposed to sort of sending out emails cold so even if I don't speak to that many people tonight when I email them or try to contact them in the future, they will know what my project's about. And also, there'll be people in the room that I would have never thought to contact. As a writer, you can sometimes feel quite isolated, especially in the early stages of developing a project. And actually talking to other people about the idea and about their ideas you can completely open your mind to new possibilities. So like my story has developed, my ability to pitch it has developed, and what I want to do next has also developed from taking part in this. In the UK, there's a strong history of really championing live action. But when it comes to animation, it seems that the screen agencies, they get a little bit lost. Um, now Screen Scotland is supporting Animation Scotland, which is great, and obviously this initiative. And it just gives us exposure because sometimes you go to markets and they don't even know that we do animation in Scotland. They don't even know that they can access the tax breaks that we have. And I think it's really important that the community supports animation because, you know, it's a, it's a career, people make a living on it. You don't really have to be drawn into working animation. You can be an accountant, you can be a lawyer, you can, you know, you can do so many things within the industry and we really need that support and visibility. So from Screen Swallow's perspective, we're really excited about this opportunity for the animation sector. There really isn't anything else out there like this for animation producers, filmmakers, anyone that's working in animation to develop their projects in this kind of nurtured environment. And we're really keen to see something more come out of this. All of the participants, their projects, 
regardless of if they won or didn't win the, the pitch, those projects are all amazing and I'm sure they've taken a lot from it. At the end of the day, the creative industries are worth £137 billion to the UK economy. It's what we do and we do it really, really well. And often it's an unsupported industry. And GFF are taking it very, very seriously and they're supporting emerging talent and it is a vital for what we do here because it's got a long-term economic benefit for not just the film world but for the wider Scottish economy.